and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. Were you expecting an episode of watching? Because I still haven't finished my list of Star Wars movies from worst to best. It's just that ever since I got back from Japan, I've just been so busy. And doing these videos, it's very time consuming. You know, because I gotta watch the movie, and as I watch the movie, I gotta write my notes down, and then I have to film myself, and I have to capture all the clips, and then I have to put all the clips together, and, and all the video that I recorded together, and it requires editing. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to it this week, so hopefully I'll get to it starting maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I can finally get... What number is it? Number six? I wanted to share something with you. I wanted to share this! Oh my god, these are so cool. I love these. I had, I when I saw this, I had to get this. Um, it's called the Darth Vader Prototype Edition. And basically, and it has a little information about Darth Vader on the back. Whoa, look at this part. This is really inaccurate. Let me read it to you. See if you can figure out what it is. Once a heroic Jedi Knight, Darth Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force, became a Sith Lord, and led the Empire's eradication of the Jedi Order. Did you get that? Do you see what the error is? Do you get it? Do you get it? Once a heroic Jedi Knight, Darth Vader. Darth Vader was not a heroic Jedi Knight. Anakin Skywalker was. And then he became seduced by the dark side and became Darth Vader. Wrong! And it has information what the prototype means. It says, experience the excitement of engineers and designers seeing the first product samples of their designs with this Darth Vader figure inspired by prototypes that are often produced with whatever extra resin is in the machine at the time. Colorful prototypes enable the development team to look past the deco and focus on the scope, analyze mold alignment, and make adjustments for quality. I just think it's pretty cool looking. I love it. I like to call it Pride Vader because it's got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, which are all the pride colors on the gay pride flag. It's foil, both sides foil. Oh, it also has a sticker on it, but I like this sticker, the special edition. This one, this sticker looks pretty cool. The way they did this is pretty fascinating is that they didn't put the bubble on top of the card. It's it's uh, basically two cards put together and then the what do you call it what do you want to call it the lip the lip, lip of the of the bubble is under the card so it's very different and it and because the cards it looks like the card folds because you don't see any you, you don't see a um, the cardboard but on the side you see the cardboard and because it's folded together it's sturdier let's compare this with one of the retro figures that came out so this one the retro one they put the bubble on top of the card uh, they made the card look all weathered I don't, I don't understand why they did that but it's just one flimsy card and it seems flimsier than even the original card backs like they use less paper the the bubble is pretty much pretty much the same it's very close it's it's not like there's a lot of room between the figure and the bubble i like the retro figures i the 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 card back is cool it's just that the weathering is unnecessary and it's kind of flimsy. As usual, the back offers nothing. Unlike the original card backs where it had just a list of all the figures that were available, they have these figures available for the retro collection, but they also have this one, that, but they didn't bother to do a, uh, a drawn art for Grand Moff Tarkin on the back. 
that's what a missed opportunity. This was really hard to get. The first time it was available, it was online with Target. It was like an online purchase only. And by the time I got to it, it was sold out. What Gary did and what I did is we put ourselves on the mailing list or the alert list to let us know when they are available again. So two days later, I go to bed and then at 1.30 a.m., Gary crashes into the bedroom and says, they're available again. Do you want me to get them? And I'm like, yes, get them. So he got me two. Here's the other one. And they're not even the same. We were hoping to get a red head Vader and a blue head Vader because Gary likes blue. Well, that's okay. It's still pretty awesome looking. Look at that. Yay! Yay! So I wanted to share these with you. I'm not opening them because they look awesome just as they are. It's the whole package. It's the Vader on the on the card and the card itself. It just look they just look great. So keeping them on the card just the way they are, and I'm going to display them somehow, somewhere. I'm really running out of space. But sorry if you were looking forward to an episode of watching. Um, for the next movie on my list. Sorry about that. I just ran out of time and was just really busy. But now I think my time is a bit more free. So I will be able to get started on watching and, or I say not get started, but continue my list of the movies from worst to best. So look out for that episode. It'll be next Sunday because I want to, because all of those episodes for watching, they take a long time. So I expect them to be out every Sunday at about five o'clock. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all the positive comments. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. Also, click on that bell icon to be alerted to new videos.